I am ditching the watercolors again, as I said I was going to. <laughs> and um, I am just, it's just going to be me, piece of paper, and this black ballpoint pen that I have. And the reason why I'm deciding to use this particular pen is because it seems to be very forgiving when um, I am doing light sort of um, like sketches like you would with a lead pencil so I can do light lines and then map out where the illustration is going to go so it's not a juicy um, it's not a juicy ballpoint pen so that's why I'm using it I'm just going to be using some smooth oh god I'm just going to be using some smooth cardstock today because um, I just want something smooth um, for the pen don't need anything else and I'm just trying to decide what color paper to use I could go white but that's the obvious choice so maybe this Maybe this grey, really light grey colour. Now, the only concern that I have is the rough surface of my table. I'm pretty sure I can still look, like write on this. I think this will be, um, I don't need to put anything underneath it is what I'm trying to say. So we'll just give it a go and yeah. I have a little bit of an idea of what I am going to draw today, so I'm just going to uh, get stuck into it and see how we go. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not doing well lately with my execution of illustrations. So this is me just going off and doing something different at the moment. It's kind of dangerous. So it's just going to be a young, it's going to be a young boy. This makes me super nervous because I cannot, I cannot erase anything. So this, this is really um, nerve wracking <laughs> for me. And that's why I wanted to use this pen because uh, it's, it's um, not juicy and I can sort of, sort of lightly do lines, even though this is not exactly light, but I'm just trying, I'm just trying. Rib cage. I probably should use those um, pens that you can actually erase. So technically I'm still using a ballpoint pen, but I can erase it. Mm, why didn't I think of that earlier? So this guy is like going to be missing the center, like the center of his waist. I see I've screwed up, so let's turn over and... <laughs> I, I should have done it higher on the page because I'm not gonna fit his legs in. All right, take two. And then I'm gonna draw his chest again. That's set pieces, so I know. That got the spine, and then we've got the pants, which I won't do so big this time, like here, because he's a dude. His top half supposed to be bigger than his bottom half. We'll do the hip joints about here, and then we'll redraw his leg bones so I get an idea of. Know where everything is going to be. And then his feet will be like that. That's better. I I fit it on the page this time. So he's gonna have gigantic hands, like he's gonna be some sort of like hybrid human, like um, superhero monster um, type being with these. Kind of like hands that you would find on, um, uh, what's his name? Hellboy. But he's got both hands like that. 
I like that hand better. What have I done wrong? Oh, wish I could stop screwing the noses up. I'm just, I'm not really good. I'm not really good at noses or faces or anything. His hair is going to be like a typical young male's hair, so I'll give him some big ears. No detail, not too much detail. Because we don't know what this guy is. He's some sort of weird creation. And then he's going to have some sort of like chain, chains around him. So like he has, this is kind of like he's escaped maybe. Um, because the chains are going to be um, like, a, they're going to be broken. Um, there we go. So the chains are going to be broken. Actually, what we might do is we might actually do like a broken, you know, broken one like that. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Actually, I kind of wish I would have done that a bit higher. Shit. So we'll do his shoes, we'll do his shoes. So, um, but I want to put, we'll do the chains around here. Because then we'll, like, it'll be like his, his legs are scrunched up inside. Yeah, the material will be like scrunched. So that's the gist of him. So I suppose we can now go into um, each area and define it a little bit more. The last time I did an illustration in a ballpoint pen, I did it, um, I think I called it like, um, was working with this massive big chunky pen that I got from uh, a theme park um, and it was black and I, I think I did a, I did, did a goblin um, <laughs> yeah so that's like the last time I did I did a ballpoint pen illustration
was really fun to just chill and do something different and just not do something polished and just do basically um, a sketch really it's just a, it's a it's a bit of a sketch in pen so hopefully hopefully you joined me hopefully you sketched out something in biro and you had fun and yeah I, I really enjoyed this I should do this more often because yeah this this was really really good and it's really good to draw something and not have to worry about an eraser and and it does help you get better I suppose um, when it comes to mistakes and you know you don't create so many because you, you try not to because you're using a pen that you cannot erase so yeah I, I definitely want to do more of these and you will see more of these sketches in the future but it was just good to have a nice chill session um, just you know draw something that only took about an hour to do and yeah no I'm, I'm happy so yeah I'm out of here and I'll see you guys in the next one bye